Are we gonna get justice for Breonna Taylor in a criminal case or not? And it was handed down today. One out of the four officers that could have been charged have been charged. One officer, Brett Hankerson, has been charged with a fourth degree felony. It's basically a overblown misdemeanor. That of wanton disregard because he fired so many shots that some of those shots ended up going into the adjacent apartment. So get this right. Brett Hankerson has been charged with this felony, lightweight felony, because one of some of his shots errantly went into apartment three instead of Breonna Taylor's apartment. Now this charge has been leveled against Hankerson is so lightweight, it carries one to five years in prison if maximum. The maximum, maximum would be five years. No one's expecting him to do that. No one's expecting him to be convicted. This is a sham. This is a mockery. This is a slap in the face. We've been slapping the face so many times, there's no more room for any more slaps. The only person to stand to be held account for Breonna Taylor's murder is going to be charged because he couldn't aim well. And you're supposed to be okay with that. I'm supposed to be okay with that. We all should be fine with it. And you know, times like this, when I look at people, the reaction that I'm seeing across the internet, people who are, we got people that are upset from all walks of life. Don't get it twisted. That makes you feel like maybe we got an opportunity here to get something, some real police reform, possibly. But do I, I am I saying that because I believe that? Or am I saying that because I want you to feel better? I don't think this will get us police reform. It should, but it won't. The reason why it won't change anything, not really, not not long-standing, not, because we're going to have a political football kick from one side to the other. We're going to have media talking and talking heads and narratives, whatever benefits whomever, and that's what's going to happen for a while because that's what always happens. But at the end of the day, the real reason we won't get reformed even after the, math, the death, the murder, the killing of Breonna Taylor is because... Some of us don't see Breonna Taylor in ourselves. Some of us don't think that what happened to Breonna Taylor could happen to us or our daughters or our, our wives or our sisters or our mothers. They think that's something that happens to other people. And as long as we believe that, as, as long as the people in power, mostly white people, believe that, then there won't be any changes. I mean, we need more than just white kids out in the streets and a few white wine moms and soccer moms and older guys, older white guys. We need all, we need powerful white people to come out. We need powerful white people to give a damn. And I'm not just talking about actors or actresses or singers or entertainers. I'm talking about lawmakers. I'm talking about corporations. Not just to get a, a bump in the sales by being a part of a trend. What's popular with the kids now? No, I mean to actually give a shit. That's the only way this is ever going to change. Only way that you change the Louisville Police Department, like so many other departments, law enforcement, is to actually change them by firing their asses. Because see... John Mattingly, the officer who was shot in the leg, who felt like, you know, oh, God, now we can blow up and light up the place. He wrote an op-ed, like a, a memo, an, e an email, where he told his fellow officers, I got your back, you got my back. We got each other's backs. We did the, not only did the right thing and the legal thing, we did the moral thing. Never once in his email did he even see Brianna Taylor as a human being whose life is gone who did nothing wrong that day except be black and live there, be home. That's it. So I don't feel at all like we accomplished anything here. And right now we got right-wing militia. Someone said to him, call them terrorists in the streets of Louisville. 
because they're waiting for some property to be damaged. I wish they cared as much about people being damaged. Maybe then they'd be there because of Breonna Taylor. Maybe they would care. So, Breonna Taylor, we waited six months for this to be the verdict, for them to indict only one. For Daniel Cameron, the attorney general, who's handpicked by Donald Trump, who's a black man, who is on the short list for possible vacancies in the Supreme Court justice. I shit you not. I'm not joking. That's how conservative he is. That's how corny he is. That's how much up Trump's ass he is. Breonna Taylor will not see justice, not in this life. Maybe in the afterlife she'll see it. We here got to keep fighting because that's all we can do. We can't, either that or we give up. Either that or we just give in. It's disgusting. It's despicable. It's disheartening. It's enough to make you shove your head under the pillow. We knew it was going to be an uphill battle getting a conviction in Louisville, Kentucky, considering the culture of Louisville, considering the laws in Louisville, the castle doctrine, the stand your ground on steroids castle doctrine, and cops, and then the qualified immunity. And yeah, of course, you know, the Brianna's Law seeks to, and it, it does eradicate no-knock warrants. It's a little too late for that for Brianna Taylor. Maybe it'll help some others, but the bottom line is this. We have a culture of violence. We have a culture in law enforcement that has total disregard for black people and for poor people and indigenous people in this country. That's how it is. And if we don't change that, then we're going to keep seeing these, these murders of civilians by state actors and police officers. I'm Tim Black. Follow me at Real Tim Black on Facebook and YouTube. I'm Tim Black at night on Instagram. Breonna Taylor's case, it's over. The civil ruling will have to be something that's is about as much as we're going to get out of this. And it's unfortunate, it's horrible, it's sad. I don't know the words, to, other words to express it. But know this, know this. That jury, that jury did not value Breonna Taylor's life. Know this, the only person who's going to be held accountable in the killing of Breonna Taylor is the guy who couldn't shoot straight. And if he'd have, if he'd have shot more bullets than the Breonna Taylor, he wouldn't even be charged right now. Wrap your head around that because that's the reality of the charges. It's fine to kill Breonna Taylor. It's just we wouldn't want you to accidentally kill anybody else. Wolfpack.